Ouya it was an idea that was launched by a group of game developers, and they were a little frustrated at the pace of innovation in console gaming. So they had an idea. They said, why don't we create an open platform using the Android uh, software, and we'll crowdfund it. We'll go on Kickstarter, and we'll raise the money. And their goal was to raise a million dollars. Well, they raised that million dollars in two hours. In the next two hours, they raised two million dollars. And over the course of the next day, they raised four. And by the time the funding project was done, they had raised eight and a half million dollars from fans who wanted to see this box. So now, if you have a great idea, you can take that idea right to the marketplace and find a customer who's willing to pay for it, willing to part with their hard-earned cash up front just so that you can go make that idea happen. And they're funding films, and they're funding games, and they're funding books, and they're funding all kinds of other great creative things with crowdfunding. Is crowdfunding. The basic idea is to raise money through relatively small contributions from a large number of people, combining the best of microfinance and crowdsourcing. Sound familiar? That's because today, internet-based crowdfunding is utilized to raise millions of dollars for charitable organizations and nonprofits. But can you guess what happens when an entrepreneur, often overlooked by conventional lenders, tries to raise money for a business through crowdfunding? Unelected bureaucrats in Washington say no. It's time to level the playing field. It's time to allow everyday Americans to invest in their communities and get would-be entrepreneurs off the sidelines. Crowdfunding is about empowering entrepreneurs, startups, and small businesses to take their next big idea from the dinner table to the production line. It's time to get government out of the way of prosperity and give job creators the tools they need to succeed. We can't wait any longer. Since the 1930s, it was illegal for private companies to offer stock to ordinary members of the public. These investment opportunities were available only to wealthy individuals known as accredited investors. However, on April 5, 2012, the JOBS Act was signed into law and changed everything. Through equity crowdfunding platforms, the JOBS Act lets anyone and everyone invest a moderate amount of their annual income in startup companies. As a result, entrepreneurs now have increased access to much needed capital. Smart Money Entrepreneurs is a broker-dealer based equity crowdfunding platform arriving just in time to connect entrepreneurs to both accredited and non-accredited investors in order to take advantage of the opportunities created by the JOBS Act. Here's how it works. When an entrepreneur has an idea for a company, he or she can seek funding at SME by creating a public profile, setting a capital raising target up to $1 million, and submitting business documents for investors to review. If enough investors pledge funds toward the goal, the company will be funded. Entrepreneurs will then share ownership with investors who will be huge supporters of their growth. SME also takes this opportunity a step further by connecting newly crowdfunded entrepreneurs with best-of-breed service providers whose interests are aligned with the company's success. Investing in startups can be risky, but investors and companies listed at SME are well protected. Startup companies go through a well-vetted application process, presenting investors with the best information that enables them to make smart investment decisions. In fact, once investor funds are transferred to the startup company, investors are able to monitor the company's finances in real time. Our proprietary system goes beyond the requirements of the law and allows supporters to track a company's valuation over time, as well as its sales, growth trajectory, burn rate, and much, much more. No guessing games, no runaround, just facts. A few months after being crowdfunded, if a company seems to be headed in the wrong direction, investors will be able to partially recover their funds and move on. If, on the other hand, the company takes off, supporters can celebrate and watch the returns accrue. You've got an awesome idea. And to get that idea launched, you need to raise capital, which is actually really hard. Traditionally, you'd ask a bank or a couple big investors for funding. But banks aren't lending, and they want collateral that you don't have anyway. Big investors? 
Less than three in 100 startups get so lucky. If you really want your idea to get funded, you'll need to tap into your own savings, home equity, and credit cards to contribute nearly half. The rest of the funding will need to come from people like your friends, family, colleagues, and acquaintances. But this economy isn't doing you any favors. You're not alone. Think of how ordinary investors must feel. They experience low returns on savings. And old laws have kept them from getting in on the ground floor of your awesome idea. Don't give up so easily, because new laws have changed all that. Now there's a new way for ordinary people like you to get your awesome ideas funded. It's called investment crowdfunding. So maybe you are familiar with the crowdfunding part. You know, like those social sites that help you raise money through donations, rewards, and advanced purchases. But investment crowdfunding is different because you raise money through investors who now share the risks and rewards of your idea. Rather than trying to pitch your idea to tons of big investors, hoping one will bite, or going into serious debt, investment crowdfunding leverages the internet and social networks to make it possible for you to get small investments from a lot of people who believe in your idea. People who never would have known about your idea before. Pretty cool, huh? So investment crowdfunding is a brand new way to raise capital. Ordinary people like you get your awesome idea funded. And ordinary people like you can invest in great ideas. It's capitalism for the rest of us.